I'm Nathan Scott and welcome to Changemakers, an initiative from Australian Wool Innovation bringing you the best research from around the country. We all want to be better sheep producers, but the only way that we can be better is to change. If we keep doing things the same way we've always done them, we'll keep getting the same results we've always got. That's why we're here, Changemakers. Did you know that a twin bearing ewe requires around 15% more energy than their single bearing friends from day 100 of pregnancy through until lambing? And that is just to get her to the point of lambing. After that point, the difference is even greater as a twin bearing ewe requires 25% more energy than her single bearing friends through peak lactation. Her requirements are huge. At peak lactation, a twin bearing ewe requires more than three times as much energy per day as she does when she's dry. The differences between a single and a twin bearing ewe are so great that you are essentially managing two very different animals. And that's the point. You need to manage them differently. So what does that mean practically? While a single bearing ewe may be managed on lower feed on offer through late pregnancy and into lambing, a twin bearing ewe simply cannot. You must prioritise the highest quality and quantity of feed to those ewes. So now that we know who they are, what should we do? We should accurately and efficiently manage pregnant ewes according to their nutritional demands based on the differing energy requirements of dry, single and multiple bearing ewes. And this can help to reduce feed costs through targeted pasture allocation or supplementary feeding, increase lamb survival of multiples through increasing birth weights and also through paddock allocation, increase lamb survival of singles by reducing the risks of overfeeding ewes and reduce ewe mortality by ensuring each class of ewes have appropriate nutrition for their needs. Scanning for multiples will do even more than that for you. It will allow you to forecast potential lamb numbers for financial and feed budgeting, identify dry ewes to increase reproductive performance and remove passengers from the system, troubleshoot for possible causes of failed reproduction, and ultimately, optimise the output of your production system. In the lead up to pregnancy scanning, we should be targeting condition score three for all ewes from joining through until scanning. For any of those lower condition score ewes, we can differentially manage those to help them hit their targets. Now, once we reach pregnancy scanning, we should be assessing our single and multiple bearing ewes separately for condition score and recording it against each. Our targets from scanning through until lambing should be condition score three for single bearing ewes and 3.3 or better for multiple bearing ewes. For more information on condition scores and the impacts upon reproduction and even the lifetime impacts upon the progeny, check out episode four of AWI Changemakers. But just briefly, we know that lambs born to twin bearing ewes will have a lower birth weight, which makes them more vulnerable to weather events. While this can be mitigated through preferential management, your multiple ewes should still get your best sheltered paddocks as well. Check out episode six of AWI Changemakers for more information on allocating lambing paddocks. But there is even more to achieving great lamb survival in your twins. There is a significant difference between your singles and your twins when it comes to the risk of mismothering the lambing paddock. Simply reducing your twin lambing mob size will help improve your lamb survival. For a more detailed look at this component, check out AWI Changemakers Episode 1, focused specifically on lambing mob size. While our focus here has been on the differences between singles and twins, we know that triplets take it to a whole new level again. There's currently national research being undertaken to develop comprehensive guidelines for the management of triplets, so stay tuned. Whether we're talking about singles, twins or triplets, we know that they are vastly different animals with very different energy requirements, and so we need to manage them differently. The only way we can do that is to know who they are, and that's why scanning is such a vital tool for every sheep operation. A skilled pregnancy scanner can identify dry, single, twin and triplet bearing ewes and can even tell you whether they are likely to have joined on the first or second cycle of your 35 day joining. The ideal timing for scanning for multiples is from day 85 to day 95 from the start of your 35 day joining. If you want to give your ewes the best chance to express their potential and your business the best opportunity to achieve a more profitable marking percentage, then you need to scan and you need to identify the multiples so that you can manage them differently. Aside from all of that, there is nothing more rewarding than achieving great lamb survival results. After all, whatever we do well today, we can do better tomorrow.